Hey guys, we're back. It's Bill Mine. Uh, yep, farm's doing well. So, this time, I want to... I have an idea how we can make the base a little more secure, and it should be pretty fun. But to do this, we'll need a lot of snow, so I've made a snow generator. Essentially, just a snowman trap, so he stands on one spot, and... It's a rule in the game code that they always have to have snow under them. And if you stand back just right, you can find a glitch in the game where it generates a ton of snow really quickly. So I can just sit here, hold the mouse down, don't have to move. And boom, all the snow. So I've been doing this a little bit, getting some snow built up in the inventory, so we can do our project today without having to, you know, always harvest snow if we need. Yes, so I got a bit. Let's see, we're gonna need some wood. Check the wood supply. Oh yeah, we got plenty. Sticks, okay. Fence posts, we'll need some of those. So, that creeper coming in the base last time made me think, you know, the best way to secure a place, just a too high wall. But, that's pretty boring. You know, if you just build a too high wall and build a little bit of an overhang, you know, nothing's gonna get over that. Or I could put torches for forever. But, that's all pretty boring. So what I'm thinking, snowman watchtowers. Yeah, this ought to be pretty good. So, I'll just build one up. Fences all around. And we'll test out to see which ones, you know, see how the different ones work. Now I'm going to jump and, yep. Yeah. So now we have our snowman and he's set up and ready to defend this area. Now snowmen don't do any damage, but they do distract mobs and pull them closer together. So while they're attacking them, it'll give me a good chance to go just whack them. You, all can, you can also make cool things with cactuses at their base and stuff, but you know, this should be a little more entertaining than just your standard old um, too high wall. hide this guy back here. Yep. Build some fences. And I was checking, I was hoping strength potions, I checked this over in creative, would uh, give these guys where they could damage things and I wanted to have a button with all these dispensers, but uh, unfortunately that doesn't work, so. You know, it's not like they're doing damage that we can add to. The game treats it differently to prevent things like that. I don't know why they haven't given us a, a mod or a, a mob that we can control that does, you know, damage like that. I mean, we have the iron golems that, you know, we'll make some of those once we get, um, oops, don't want to do that one. Once we get, you know, once iron just becomes ludicrously abundant. Also, these also function all as snow farms. If we could, I guess we can get our shovel in there. Yeah, but if you were to come up like this, you could still... Oh, yeah, this one works good. Yeah, the, once you get to the perfect height, you can pretty much get infinite snow. Just a matter of seconds. Oh, night's coming. So, yeah, I guess we'll set a few more of these guys up. And we wait to see how they do. So leave comments about what you like, what you don't like, uh, what y'all want to see more of. You know, it's a small channel right now, so definitely just whatever you got, y'all guys want to see, leave a comment, you know, and I'll start making stuff for you, you guys. And subscribe and like that. That really helps me out more than more than I can even explain. Actually, I can't even explain it all because of the terms and service and everything. So. But yeah, do like, favorite, subscribe. I can't encourage that. Tell your friends, loved ones. Ah. So cool. Alright, I'll put some more of these up and I'll uh, show y'all if they get to fighting. Alright, I found some natives that don't look too um, 
amenable to me being here, so let's see how the snowman deals with them. Okay, good, they grab his attention. So we shouldn't have anything wandering in the camp now. I'm a bit confused. Come on, snowman. Mm. Okay. So they kind of have a blind spot right next to him. So good. Not that I'm too worried about zombies. These are mainly just to attract creepers to themselves. Sweet, sweet. Okay. Good little defense person. Oh, here, let's see how it deals with a spider. Okay, so spiders can climb, but that's not good. It'll take a while, though, so. Let's help our snowman out since he does no damage. Okay, good snowman. Or snow golems, as they're technically referred to. Don't know yet if creepers will suicide on those guys or not. Alright, one up, boom, boom. Getting a lot quicker at making them, though. Yep, yep, there we go, and jump. Yeah, I'm putting them fences, well, when, you know, one for their own protection, keep give them a little defense against uh, zombies and stuff, and two, you know, don't want them wandering off just anywhere. So, out of fences again. Urgh. I know, I know, this place is going to be littered with these things, but meh. That happens. So. Yeah, sorry about yesterday's uh, late post, and if anybody was looking, my internet just went all terrible on me all of a sudden, and just decided, no, no, you're not going to post anything up. You get to wait and not post anything. So, that's what I did. But hopefully, I'll, I'm looking into getting some new stuff, so that'll be quicker. Alright, cool. So now, we have our snowman defense network set up. Alright guys, we got our snowman defense grid in place. They seem to be keeping the mobs off us, which is nice. Don't have to build a fence. Yeah, that's right, buddy. You do your job. Okay, so... Now what we're going to do, we're going to try to neaten up the farm a little bit. I like the way this looks. It kind of reminds me of those, you know, vineyards over in uh, Italy and stuff. I had to raise this up one because apparently these guys won't grow next to anything, but they only grow three high anyway, so that's their maximum. I was thinking it would look cool, though. Take some leaves. Put it at the top, kind of give it that, uh, you know, vineyardy look. Yeah, that's just shears that does that, if y'all are interested. It's one of those things they added. I'm going to have to harvest this before we can get it. Yeah, you can make these, you know, more efficient with pistons and things, and, uh, you know, so you just have to press a button and it flows through water, but really, that, I think that's more of a waste and kind of taking the, the spirit out of the game than anything else. Hmm. Well, let's do it in one and see if it grows on us, you know. We can leave the others al natural and see what happens. Oh, I like that the fences don't stick to them. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. Luckily, this stuff is easy as heck to get. Kind of, I'll, I'll put cut down these trees later so we don't have silly looking trees lying around. But yeah, this is good. Yeah, we might. Uh, well, it'll be good as long as it doesn't interfere with the weed gro reed growth. So, if it interferes with the reed growth at all, it's got to go. So, 
this will be our control stacker read. We'll see if there's difference between their growth rates, so. That ought to. Yeah. Looks nice. Oh, I think we're about at the time. Hmm. Do I really have to make both of those? But anyway, I think we're about at the time limit, so. I'll harvest the rest of this off camera. Y'all have a good day. Oops. Yeah, I need to hit F5.